Uh, bring you back second part here with the uh, stainless steel I find a brass hammer works much better all I'm doing right now is closing this gap up by hitting down on here it's stainless, it's not silver, so I'm not putting any, any real marks in it or anything. And it's closed back up. And theoretically, I think you'll find that rings are... Um, manufactured left or, or right hand on the spiral so this one would go down in a crease here on your other hand so you see that line there it would go down a crease down there because your fingers have got natural creases obviously and there you've got a ring you can keep manipulating it Once you've um, once you've put it on the socket and uh, beaten it down a bit, and you can put it back on your bender, and you can tighten it up. And with this particular layout that I've got, I can pick up just a piece of it if one edge is sticking out, but that's not too bad actually. You can also go down to really small to pinch things. So here, you're going to pinch this end in here, if you guys can see that. That's a lot of force and you see it bending. And basically you're just working it. You can turn the ring in and you're reducing the diameter, obviously the ring size. It's going down when you're doing this. And there we go. And you can play with it, scrunch this up. It depends on size that you want, uh, how elegant and long your fingers are, how short, fat and chubby your fingers are. But obviously, there's a ring. Hey, subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Look at the other videos. Share this. Talk to you guys later. Bye.